Now, demo, let's view the sharing tab. Some of the main features of Calc Menu Web. Calc Menu Web is used by professional chefs. This web based software lets you access your recipe database anytime and anywhere. You only need a computer, internet connection, a web browser, such as Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Safari for Macintosh. Make sure your pop-ups are enabled before you start. Now we're ready. First, let us go to the login page. Here you will be asked to enter a valid username and password. After logging in, you will be directed to the main page. Here you can access the different modules like the merchandise module, the recipe module, menu module, and the menu planning module. Let's start with the merchandise module. Merchandise refers to basic ingredients that are used to compose recipes. Let's try searching for prawn. All data containing prawn will appear in the list. Let us select Giant Tiger Prawn. To edit it, we simply need to press the edit icon. Using the edit feature, you can modify all information related to an ingredient. Let us explore the tabs available, starting with main information. The name of the merchandise can be edited here. Note that changes on ingredient names will also apply to all recipes containing the ingredient. You can assign a number, or have a number assigned automatically. You can also assign a category. In this case, Giant Tiger Prawn belongs to Fish and Seafood. The percentage of wastage can be assigned as well. For Giant Tiger Prawn, we have set 50% wastage. This means that 50% of the ingredients weight will be left once you peel and devein them. You can also set the price, and define units too. Here, we have assigned prices in kilogram. We click Add, and then select another unit such as, Piece. Then, type the conversion factor between kilogram and piece. Let's say that our giant tiger prawn has an average weight of 50 grams. So, I will encode 0.05 kilograms. You can then assign allergens for this item. We have assigned the allergen crustaceans. These allergens will also be present in all recipes containing the ingredients. Hence, any recipe using giant tiger prawn will also be described as containing the allergen crustaceans. Let's proceed to the Nutrient tab. The item Giant Tiger Prawn has already been linked to the ingredient crustaceans, shrimp, mixed species, and raw, in the Swiss food reference table. You can also decide to work with another reference table, such as USDA from the USA, BLS from Germany, or any other reference table that we can integrate for you in Kalk Menu. All nutrient values for energy, protein, and other relevant data, have been taken from that reference. If your ingredient is not available in the reference table, you may also encode your own value for each nutrient. The nutrients visible here can be configured. You may add or remove sections depending on your needs. Next, we have the Information tab, where you can encode additional information, such as ingredients, specific determination, as well as other available data. The ingredients and specific determination are used for the composition of the recipe. In this case, the ingredients of our merchandise giant tiger prawn is simply prawn. The word prawns will be used for the composition. Let's now take a look at the translation tab. Ingredients in English can have its translations in multiple languages encoded here. In this example we translated the name of the ingredient prawn in French. All recipes using prawn will also have its French translation. 
you may have multiple translations of an ingredient. In this case we have French and German. The languages can be modified, and you may use any language. Here, you can adjust the settings of an ingredient's visibility. This ingredient has been defined as global. This means that any Calc menu user can view and use it. If you uncheck global, you can select which of your sites can use this ingredient. If you work with multiple users in different locations, you can restrict access to such an ingredient. You can also approve each location to manage their own list of ingredients. Click Save to keep all your changes. Click Close when you are done working on the ingredient. Afterwards you will see an overview of the information for this ingredient. Now that we have explored the merchandise module, let's look closer at the recipe module. In the recipe list, you will be able to search and display general data about recipes. On the left side you have different criteria to help with your search query input. On the right side you see the search results. Let's try searching for a recipe. Let's encode shrimp. Matching recipes will be displayed from here. Let's select pomelo and shrimp salad. In the list of recipes found, we can see and edit all information about the recipes. This includes the name, number, category, Source Yield Pictures Ingredient And under other tabs you will find the calculation. Procedure Remark Description Nutrient Keywords Allergens Attachments And more Note that if you need to create a new recipe you will access the same form but the fields will be empty Let's get familiar with the main tab. Here, you can edit recipe name. You can also provide a subname, which is usually a short description of the recipe. You can assign a category or a source where you can cite where the recipe came from. Remarks and description field give you space to comment on the recipe and describe it. Two yields can be provided to encode and then resize the recipe. Yield units can be modified. You can also define different cooking period in hours, minutes and seconds. For each recipe up to five pictures can be uploaded. We already have a previously assigned picture to this recipe. You may add as many as five photos per recipe. Let's move on to the next tab, Ingredient and Procedure. Here, you can see the ingredients and procedure for the recipe. In the Ingredients section, you will notice that there are many columns. The name of the ingredients, something we call a complement, which is short text displayed immediately after the ingredient name in the recipe. We also have the wastage percentage, the net and gross quantities with their units and an optional preparation field, if you wish to encode a preparation for each ingredient. Here, we can see that we have a recipe used as ingredient. It is shown in blue, since it is clickable. Let's try adding a new ingredient. You can use the search function at the top of the tab for this. We start with encoding the ingredient name, coconut milk, and clicking search. 
we select the milliliter unit for that merchandise. We encode the quantity and click include. The ingredient is added to the recipe. If needed, you can now click on an ingredient and drag it to another position in the recipe. Now we will take a look at calculation. Calc menu web does instant calculation. As you type the factor, the selling price changes based on the cost of goods. You can also type your imposed selling price and double check the corresponding factor. Next we have the nutrients information. Calc menu web allows automatic value calculations for recipe nutrients. Users can also impose nutrients if desired. We then have the allergens of the recipe, which are automatically calculated based on the allergens of its ingredients. You may impose the allergens of a recipe if needed, but in most cases, it is not necessary. Keywords are immediately listed for the recipe. These are used to categorize recipes within Calc Menu Web and can also be used as your search criteria. In the Translation tab, recipe data can be translated into different languages. Other information such as the merchandise and unit names, can also be translated in their respective modules. This means that merchandise and units need to be translated only once, because changes will also apply to all recipes containing the ingredient. Last on the Comment tab, we have comments to aid in recipe modifications and to include other relevant data. Adding comments is also possible. Now let's have a look at the Declaration tab. You may define declaration information, such as declaration name, specific determination, number, barcode number, consumption within, to determine the validity date, sold within, to determine the sale limit date, the weight or volume of the item, the price and price per 100 grams or whatever unit you chose and then you can add more information for the declaration including packaging method recipe certification country of production storage information and finally the composition the composition is automatically generated based on the ingredients, their quantities, and the declaration of each ingredient. We are offering many possibilities in the way the composition is generated, but it can also be adjusted based on your exact requirements. You can then edit the composition if some adjustments are necessary. It is the edited version of the composition that will be printed on your labels. Click Save, to keep all your changes when you're done working on the recipe. Afterwards you will see an overview of the information for this recipe. Now let's take a peek at the versions feature. Multiple versions of the recipe can be created. Recipe versions are made to allow several adjustments the merchandise, procedures and other components of the recipe. Let's proceed to the comparing feature. After creating multiple variants of the recipe, Versions can be compared, to see which date will have changed. Modifications in the original recipe are shown in red. If available, you can select another recipe version in the drop-down list for comparison. Let's have a quick overview of the menu module. In the menu list, you have the same presentation of the search criteria and results as for merchandise and recipe. Let's just click on search button to view all menus available. Let's click on the Easter 2017 menu to view its content. The menu plan module is useful to work on a single menu for a particular event. To calculate its cost, 
selling price, and create a shopping list of all ingredients needed. You can also use the menu module to create a digital menu card, or to share any of your menus with your customers. Let's go back to the menu list and select the menu card. This menu list is all the meal choices of a menu card. They are grouped by type of meals, such as salad, seafood, meats, desserts, etc. You can then click on preview for what we call e-menu. This will open your menu in a separate browser. You can share your menu or menu card with your customer. By sharing a link, click on copy to clipboard to get the unique link to this menu and paste it on your website or email. Let's finally have a closer look at the menu planning module. When accessing any of the main module, you always see a history list with the last accessed items. This gives you a quick way of reaching in items you have worked on recently. Let's click on Menu Plan 2017. A menu plan is defined by a name, category, number, and other information. It can be defined for a particular date, or as a cycle menu that will repeat every number of weeks. We have a menu plan defined for week 7, so I'll click on 7. You can see the details of the menu plan for a day by clicking on the menu. You can then easily add recipes, or modify recipes for the menu plan. For each menu, you can also define a plan number of sales. And the actual sales. This will allow you to create a shopping list of all the ingredients needed for a particular menu plan, week, day, etc. It will also allow you to calculate an average margin and make sure your profit is where you want it. With the text tab, you can adjust how your menu is presented by editing the recipe names, adding some heading, and other information. We are handling multiple translations as well. You can print multiple reports with the menu plan information. You can also have a preview through e-menu plan of your weekly and daily view that can be shared with your customers. We are now done with a quick run through of the merchandise, recipe, menu, and menu plan modules of Calcmenu Web. Please note that many of the features of Calcmenu Web can be modified through configuration. Calcmenu can work with imperial units, metric units, or both at the same time. You may also define role for your users. To limit their rights and their access to some information. If the extended configuration capabilities of Calc Menu are not enough, we can still adjust Calc Menu based on your special needs through customization. The Calc Menu web solution also comes with a kiosk that provides you with a simple access to your recipes from a light interface, with possibility to search recipes, resize them, create shopping list, and print recipes. The kiosk is also reachable on smartphone and tablet. We hope we have shared with you a lot of useful functions in Calcmenu Web that will help in your daily operation.